This bay is for uh, viral marker testing. Uh, what we're doing here is determining whether a donor has an active infection, um, hepatitis, HIV, or HT, which is kind of like a leukemia, uh, or we're going to test whether they've been exposed to any of those uh, diseases. The test is a bead technology test. So that means that the, the shape that we're looking for, one of the shapes, is put on a little bead like so. This happens to be a test that's an antibody test. So coated on this bead is an antigen, the actual virus itself. So those beads then are going to be dropped into a tray. So the donor sample is going to be put into a source rack. It's then going to be pipetted into a tray. And notice that everything here has a barcode. So I have a barcode here. It's a barcode on the source rack. And there's a barcode on the actual donor sample. So the software is going to always link the, don the donor sample to the tray and where it went into the actual tray. Once it's all been pipetted, then these beads that we talked about are going to be added in each one of the wells. And then this tray is going to be incubated in an incubator. <laughs> it's going to be incubated in an incubator, so there is an incubation time that will then be taken out of the, the incubator. It will be processed in this instrument here, it's called the Parallel Processing Center. Reagents will be added to the tray. And this particular test actually has three passes. So we'll add a reagent to it, it's incubated, we take it out, we wash that out, we put another reagent into it, incubate it, wash it out, and put that last coloring reagent that we talked about in the beginning. And so we're, then we're going to measure whether it's yellow or not. So if it's yellow, it's positive. If it's clear, then it's negative. Uh, so the total uh, throughput time for the older bead technology assay is about eight hours. And we run, uh, we do HIV and HTLV by beads.